between the fence. Up, down, up, down. Even a crusher of man's has to do house maintenance sometimes. Up, down. This is why I have a lot of house maintenance to do. Thank you to Brian C for sponsoring today's episode. To Home Depot for the paint all over my hands and apparently my glasses. Anyways, if you guys want to sponsor an episode, link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, enjoy the episode and thanks to Brian C. Just a quick reminder for those of you who are new and since this episode's coming out on a Saturday, Every Saturday I stream Longwater. I've been doing that for like a year now. And then Sundays are currently Battle Brothers with a different campaign than this one. I'm doing the Northern Raiders kind of kind of lightly. But uh, if you guys are interested, check that out. Twitch.tv slash xwins. And here's the episode. Hey everyone and welcome back to an immediate ambush against some little dopies in a hole. We're a little bit wounded on the armor, but otherwise we're fine. Everything is fine, friends. I hope. Please no incredible RNG like last time. Uh, I actually forget what was in here because I took like a... Oh, here we go. Eight raider, a poacher, and some thugs? Is that a joke? Wow. All right. Well, that was definitely more, uh... More strong before, that's for sure. Oh, look at this! The one raider has come out to greet us. How cordial of him. Now, there are quite a bit of clubby bubbies, but you know what? I'm really feeling the lone wolf is the smart idea again. Let's run the boys back. I'll come up here in a second. Who do I want to hit more than anything? That clubby bubby. Although that puts me in range to get hit by this one. If I come over here, that one can hit me. So either way, someone's going to hit me. Uh, I suppose we'll just go there. Oh, hello, this little Mr. Slinger. And the time is now, friends. 95, 95. That's better. Confident lone wolf, bring it. God, that last episode just made me like full tilt. I did realize though, one fatal flaw in my strategy was that I didn't try to go for the round swing for the early kill and not getting the early kill meant no early confident and no early confident meant almost death from RNG. Uh, so you guys can see, I actually am a huge colossal fan of fortified mine now. I've only ever taken it before on Bannerman, but I did long theorize that it would be really good to have it almost the entire party on almost everybody. And just before this episode, I was thinking, hmm, what's my party going to look like when I recruit more mans? And I actually am kind of thinking about getting fortified mind on many people. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. For oh. now. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Oh! All right, boys, come on back and pick up the slim pickings or whatever the heck you guys do. All right, well, that was an episode, or rather a battle. I don't even want to get the kill. I'll let you guys have it. Enjoy. Whew. Off to a, uh, a no ridiculous RNG start. So what do we got here for loots? We got almost nothing. I'm honestly, that camp was kind of terrible. We did get some foods though. 80 gold, half of tools, and a couple of lame weapons, and we got a signet ring. It wasn't the worst thing, but also not the best thing in the world. Definitely not like, uh, definitely not what I was hoping for, to be honest. Let's come up here and see if we can attack. I don't think we'll get there before the sun comes up is the problem, and I don't want to engage them at nighttime. Yeah, we're not going to get there anytime soon. All right, well, this will give us a little opportunity to come over here and scout around. Ooh, let's go hit this mountain. Hello. Boom, we see nothing. Let's go hit this mountain. Maybe we will attack this at nighttime. Undead. A few guys and many armored wider gangers. There's no reason for us to fight that, though. Or sorry, no, there's many wider gangers, not, not armored ones. Uh, I did get a level. There we go. One more extra aim. Hmm... Yeah, I'm just not... I mean, I guess we can get experience for it. Hobo, are you ready to come back in here, boy? Yes, he is. 
What the heck did I do with this spear? Oh, I think I gave it to someone else. So he's going to have to use the arming sword, I suppose. Or, or we could have Gage go cleaver. Although, honestly, well, he's got an 87 to hit. The thing, ah, I don't know. So silly, I suppose. All right, you can come back in. Everybody's sealed up here. Uh, guys really shouldn't be an issue. I know the boys will scream in terror. This will get a little bit of experience. Let's hit the mountain and see what's up. There we go. We see nothing. I'm not really interested in the guys, to be honest. Although I do have the morale that it would not be an issue whatsoever. Hmm. Well, I suppose they do need killing experience, and I've got nothing else to do, right? So, come over here, boys, and then we'll attack this one at night time. Oh, 11 Noxeris. Okay. Mostly just going to have them run back. One, two, three. Perfect. If they want to come over here, then great. Uh, I shouldn't stay in the hole, but we'll move up. We'll move actually right here so they have two hole slots against us. And then everyone's going to have to move back one more time. Easy game. All right. They've surrounded. We crash. Wow. Impressive. The guy should come up now that we're finally engaged in melee. Possibly they'll start taking their turn at the beginning here. And we'll finally see all three of them move. Yep, there they are. They're going to go screamy weemies, but we'll get a kill presumably right now. That'll put us into confident. <laughs> And we should resist all the screamy weemies. A crash! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's hop in the hole actually around this guy multiple times. I don't even care. I want to get down there right next to the guys. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Let the boys do whatever they want over here. I don't care. Come on, scream at me. I dare you. you like I care. I'm in a hole. Well, that, that ghost was scarier than the other ones, guys. Give me a break. It's a scary ghost. Oh, Gage, we get to see your beautiful cleave for the first time ever. <laughs> 92 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Gage, for showing us how that, that works. Oh, boy. All right, Toodles Ghosts, thanks for playing. You guys remember when they were ghosts? Oh wait, that ghost is over there. Oh. I thought I could hit it for some reason. Yeah, you should have ran away, ghosts, like a scaredy ghost. Because now you're just going to get wrecked. And a done. All right, that's not too bad. 360, 340, 340. Zero got a little promotion. We got a couple of speeders, 10 tools. All right. I mean, at least it's something to do during the day while we're waiting for this camp uh, to go into nighttime. Let's take a look at the period here uh, for a moment. God, the squad's starting to look a lot better, friends. It's starting to look a lot better. It's time to get recover on Purial. Next up, of course, Battle Forged. But I go off the next Xeris, it's the afternoon. There's 11 of them. We shouldn't have any problem. Let's go. It's just more experience, right? No, no, I set up in such a way. One of them will want to come up here and attack from elevation. That's fine. And then the rest of them hopefully will circle down here. I could attack now, but I gotta make sure they don't eat each other. That's the tricky thing about Nexeris. Playing in Lone Wolf. If they eat each other to level three and they eat you, boom. Game over, basically. In fact, I'll probably get them to run back in now. And, hmm, I want to actually hold the fort down here, I think, to prevent this guy from eating anymore. Meanwhile, I really like the idea of just surrounding this one. Our mans weren't really meant for combat right now, but at the same time, eh. I don't need the lone wolf anymore. I just want to make sure they don't get any eats. This one, I don't think he can move over there and eat. I think it takes action points. We'll see in a second. All right, a couple of scratches, not a big deal. We charge, we wait to see what happens with this one, and then we're going to wait on Gage, and then who do I want to murder? You, 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 I think? Yeah. 
That seems good. How about just you and you? Only two? Or do I go for an epic strike? Mm, nah. Anyway, it is. If he, this guy tries to move, not good times. He's going to have fun times. Imperial wounds, please. 77. Uh, he had to miss the 77. This one's going to eat for sure. Unless... 75, hobo. Yeah. Oh, I just knocked him into another corpse. Whoops, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, well. Uh, we could do the same thing over here. Knock this one down. 95 gauge. Toodles. Monkey on the mountain. And then we yoink the corpse. This one's a little scared, but he will eat something. That's all right. He's next to me. Oh, that one wanted to go someplace. I was like, denied. Nice work, Hobo. Double 75s. Ooh, I have a plan, actually. I could kill that one and then attack this one if 92 gauge. Beautiful. No more fatigue, though, on him. I think Piro literally just holds this with a speeder wall. And now I might be able to kill him. Or I could attack the little guy up there who's a one-shot. On a corpse. Beautiful. Woo! Beautiful. This one's going to eat next turn. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Okay, we got a tier three biggin. Wow. Whole boss missed 275s and 277s. We really don't have the time to mess with that guy. Like, I need to come down here and bleed this one and be next to him so he doesn't run away. He can also hurt like a truck. Gage will be all right. Run the Overwatch. 93 slice. Beautiful. Good work, Gage. Charge in with the Purial. And now... 95 in the Nuggin. He's going to probably scrumpsh me up, but Purial can save me. Good to go. Mm-hmm. Scrumptious meal. Wow, Hobo. Seriously, 75, 75, 72, 72, 72, 72. Uh, Gage off of his head. Wow, didn't kill him. Oh, friends, I'm covered in icky, icky goo. Oh, no. <laughs> Hobo, we're not leaving it till you kill this thing or you die trying to kill it. Hit it. There we go. All right, now, now that we've gotten all aggressive on him, he's like, oh, okay, fine, I'll hit the guy. Anyway, double loots, horns, that was boring. Next. So, more promotions. What does Gage have? So, we were going to go melee skill on him, hit points, and initiative when he minerals fatigue. He's mineraled a lot of fatigues, though, and I'm getting worried about it, but hopefully he stops, stops doing that. Uh, hobo, defense, and... Mm, that's it. More defense. Uh, recover on him now as well. And then on Gage, we're going to go quick hands uh, now. Now that we've actually got the tier 3 cleaver, we can buy a whip pretty soon. And we can do what we need to do with that. Uh, otherwise, looking at the gear, I'm a tiny bit hurt hour-wise. We're at 19. We'll just camp till middle of the night, I suppose, and then charge in here and see what we've got. There's only seven enemy? What kind of joke is this? These are some scrubby camps, guys. I was hoping for, like, leaders and gear and stuff. Well, I can hear them closer. So what we're going to do is wait up for the lone wolf. So we at least see... It sounds like they're right here. Ah, finally, a man. Boy, was that ever boring. I can pretty much tell you I don't want to charge that guy with a nuggin bunker, but they are going to have throwing weapons, so they may give me no choice. Let's see what happens. If they have crossbows, they're going to see us now. There is a throwing weapon. There is the crossbow. It's only a lame one. More throwing weapons. 8%. Everyone else is holding the line. And they're backing up. All right, well, we've worked ourselves into an okay situation. So they don't have quick hands. We'll be next to the hooked blade man. If I come over here, we can even hit that guy maybe with a strike next turn. For now, charge! 
Although the Nuggen Bunker I had forgotten about. Hopefully we don't get terrible RNG. I mean, we can move up to here with the rest of the squad. And just a <laughs> another hunting book guy shoots his friend in the back. Oh, by the way, I should have waited. I, uh... For whatever reason, just forgot. Okay. Oh! He didn't want to play with me. Friend. But I wanted to have fun times with you. Ah, We can get everyone in here if we wait a smidgy. Hooked Blade 13. Are you kidding me? Are these even rolls that the AI is doing right now? Alright, Gage is up. Burial is up. I'm a little bored, so I'm figuring why don't we move and crash? <laughs> Just casual head chops. Beautiful lamellar, by the way. Yoink! Ah, uh, Gage. Yes! Give him the cleaves. Do I even care about this guy? I kind of don't. Look at this. Don't even care. Oh, there's another one. Uh-oh. 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 Never mind. It's a 12%. Please. And now he's rolling a 5. A 5 and a 12. All right, boys. Stabby, stabby. Is it time? Whew. Oh, that poor man. Well, easy game. Uh, I need to actually run around here to stop them both. Good times. Good times. How was this a camp, honestly? What do we take? Like five points of woo! Whole thing of tools. A salt worth 340. 230 gold. A whole th one and a half things worth of food. Throwing axes, which is great. Uh, wow. We also got hooked blade, military pick, felchin. We got the full health lamellar. Picked up a clubby bubby tier one in case we want to have stun guys, which believe it or not, I am going to actually use those and I need a few more and I've been, I've been throwing or selling them and I need to save a few pretty soon. The chain is not that great. The helm is fantastic. Awesome. Way better result than before. Uh, unfortunately, apparently killing all these woozles has left us low on stuff. Perfect. All right, well, not a bad start. Only 20 minutes into the episode, and we've already taken two camps out, and what was it, just one roaming thing or two? Two roaming things and two camps in 20 minutes. And we're back. Is our giant man still here? No, friends. Giant Rewards has tootled the town. Oh, frigging. Ah, that's sad. That's... They're very sad. He had this 3750 Great Axe, too. I wonder if we actually could have bought him right now. Wow. I think we could have, to be honest. I could buy... There's a number of things I could buy right now. We could buy training. Uh, we could buy armor. I wouldn't necessarily mine some, but I really want the plus 40 ones. Or maybe like the plus 30 ones. These things, by the way, are 180, 280. I would not mind a closed flat top with mail. That's so much better than mine, but I think our money's best spent uh, on mans for right now. Plus, this is a little bit more of an expensive town than the other one. You know, we really don't have much reason to be here. Let's stock up on tools. We can buy one, two, three, four. Oh, no, actually, we have no inventory space. Uh, anyway, we can stock up on, I think it's five tools. Not sure how many we have right now, to be honest. I may have overbought because the inventory screen. Yeah, I think I actually overbought. Whoops. I think I bought six, so we overbought like six tools. 150 is the most you can have. Well, we got a lot of stuff to sell, and we have a lot of things to sell. Now, we can sell things here for an okay price, or we can go to our really nice town in the west and sell them for a much better price. And I'm going to elect to do that. I'd like to get enough money for just the one day. 
selling some of the more lame things, like shields that we honestly really don't have too much of a use for anymore. Okay, that's enough money for a day. Uh, food's okay. And we're off. Well, our mission for a hedge knight continues. Uh, but at the same time, we're making a lot of progress on leveling our mans, and I'm kind of happy with it. I'm really glad we didn't die last episode. All right, these guys have disappearing villagers. They have a monk. Uh, they have amber we can buy if we get rid of the disappearing villagers issue. All right, I bet it's... Um, what is it, about 600? Hunt down with terror? Whatever this is, it can't be that bad. Four dire wolves. No problem. Yes. Wonderful, boys. Well, I don't need to get the lone wolf anymore. Instead, we can just get the proximity. We can move right on up. Hobo, give him a bit of the old stabby. 74. Actually, wait, actually. Uh, we'll move Gage up as well. Beautiful. Uh, meanwhile, I'll take a 95-95. Ooh, they're getting scared. Burial charge. You want to give him a bit of the old stabby? Okay. Hobo. Beautiful. Actually hits one. And lastly, Gage. Yeah, 95. Now I'm confident. Beautiful. Once you have armor like this, daughter rolls are super easy. But I will say this. After playing like 10 zero death campaigns, trying to work out how not to die. If you want to have a zero death campaign, avoid dire wolves like the plague in the very early game. I mean, like the plague. I'm really not messing around when I say that. They're probably the number one ending to a lot of my zero death attempts. Well. Ooh, and I can get a pelt mantle. You know, I don't think I want a pelt mantle. I think I want the 40 armor for Battle Forge. I'll give the pelt mantle to someone else. 470 crowns. We can wait here to buy the amber if we want. Uh, I'm thinking we have to wait here anyway to take the boat, so no real choice. We can barely afford it. It's worth stocking up on, though, I feel for sure. Any of this food going to spoil soon? No, it's looking fine. We'll sell a couple of random, like, wooden flails to buy the last one. And then we need enough money to actually hop on the boat. And I'm not sure what the boat's going to cost us. To go to Koenigshaven is only 100 gold. Okay. I'm just going to save some time by zooming straight over there. And we'll sell a few, like, tier one things that don't matter too much. There. Perfect. 100 gold. Off we go. Koenigshaven. Ooh. Ambush trade routes. What do we have for quests? These guys want us to hammer it in two days to the north. No, thank you. This is brigands. Ooh, a thousand twenty at the drafty shack. <laughs> okay, we're on it, boys. These guys have uh, ambush trade routes, so we can sell stuff here for a pretty penny. Sign yeah, look at this, five hundred and two salt. Now they make amber, so they don't buy it. But good lord, three two five copper, two hundred cloth. 306, 306. I guess we're going to get our banner, even though we don't really need it. Uh, we don't need to not have it at the same time, though. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to save these hand axes in case we fight Shrats. That's what they're... I think I always forget what they're called in this game. Trents, Shrats, whatever they are. And I think we've upgraded to the point where mail for everyone is going to be, like, the status quo. So, 3,300... And I think we're good to go. Perfect. If I want to sell anything else, now's the time to do it. I don't think we'll use the long axe, to be honest. So I'm going to tootle that one. I'm definitely going to make the dire wolf pelt mantle at some point. We'll hold on to the spears in case somehow we get a lot of mans. I could sell them. I do definitely want to have at least one hand axe for the shrats if we fight them. I'll keep the arming sword in case I want to go shield and sword with repost. Like, there's a lot of marksmen. In fact, there might be marksmen right now. All right, where we're going to go here. Let's make sure also the mans have best helmets. 115, beautiful. Peter can have that one. 
Uh, and we'll give his, or Gung Hobo his. All right. Lamler upgrade there. Technical issues with the throat, and we're off. Oh, I thought it was going to be over here. I know there's a leader over there. Wouldn't that be fun, huh? Let's go to the drafty shack and see what's up. A few marksmen and some raiders. Okay, I prefer not to fight them in the daytime. So maybe I'll just zoom past them. Take a look at this uh, hill over here. Oh, there we go. We got our battle standard as well. It cost us a thousand crowns. I guess we're not really saving, right? I mean, I do want to save up in general. But we're not super saving up for an immediate hedge knight or anything. All right, well, it's almost dust time. Let's get in here and murder those mans. Oh, you crossbow. 37%, 27%. I don't like that at all. Javelins are rolling at 8% here. They're all going to get a chance to shoot me, but they're just regular crossbows. They're not too bad. Uh, I could move here, but honestly, it's not going to help. Yeah, take your 36 again. Your 26 or whatever you had. It's the last thing you guys will ever do. I honestly have no idea where they are, but whatever. This guy's uh, busy here with javelins, no shields. Come on, guys. I'm engaging your man. Come defend him. What the heck are you doing, you doofy doors? There it is. Come on, more. We need more. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Defend your mans. Always defend your mans. By which I mean murder. Okay. Not great there, actually, to be honest. Hit this guy on the head, but whatever. We're fine. I don't need to move up. These are None of these things can get through my armor at all. It's just going to be easy. Okay. This guy's like, yo, I have an idea. Why don't I go assault the mans, right? Bad idea, friend. Bad idea. My boys know what's up. Boys are going to stab you with a pointy end. Meanwhile, mans, all dead. Thank you. <laughs> It's like literally all dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Uh, yeah, Gage, you rip his armor off and make him bleed. Boys love ripping the clothes off the mans at night and just watching them bleed. Can you stop shooting me with your 43% crossbow, sir? Whew. Nice work, Gage. All right, these guys are running for sure. Yeah, that one's already out of here. And I, we're not going to catch this one either. All right, well, that was a camp. And we picked up 200, 300 experience. Another amber, 100 gold, scramasax, scramasax, full health lamellar, beautiful. Another hand axe, 134 gold, some paint, and a kite shield. Hey, there we go. A leprechaun kite shield. I suppose Periel, uh, he already has one. Let's go Hobo. Now everyone's got a kite shield. Beautiful. This Lamellar's 110 versus 12. This is uh, quite a bit less, but it's only 10 fatigue. I suppose we'll stick with what we have with the chain then. Uh, let's repair all these things since we're maxed out on tools. We can sell all this stuff later for a profit. Beautiful. Uh, let's go back and turn it in. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm going to come over here maybe. Uh, to the Outlaw's Hideaway. We can check it out, walk down to Himmelsburg, come back down here to Krakenwater, do whatever quests they have, and buy their amber. I know they have a lot. They've got two amber mines. Or maybe I should sail down here by the amber, then go to Himmelsburg. Then we'll come up here and check that out. Another mission. Follow the tracks, return the staff. Okay, apparently it's murder man's. By all means, we'll take it. Gotta make sure I have health and armor here really quick. Yep, we're good. Oh. You lose a dagger? Gung Hobo, it's all right. Everyone makes mistakes. It's okay, Gung Hobo. Don't worry. We know you're a drunkard. Uh, was that dagger out of your inventory? The noble house is really what I want to do. Let's throw that up so we can finally increase our reputation and make these crazy weapons we need to buy more more cheap. By the way, Conixhaven is the worst tier 4 city of all time. It's like every time you do a quest, they're like, hey, take a nine hour walk around the freaking universe. It's actually really frustrating how much time we've wasted here. 
Finally! And we find seven thugs. Okay. All right, boys, no time for Lone Wolf. We charge, we charge. This guy's got a noggin bunker. We charge, we crash. <laughs> Toodles, boys. Thanks for trying. Piri, you want to get in there? Stabby? Beautiful. <laughs> charge! Of course. Of course he hits a 13. Heads are rolling. I think we did it. That was vicious. Five fifty crowns. Literally nothing left. They have another swords master. He's literally the fencer, and he has a fencing sword. Interesting. A little expensive at four thousand, though. I'm not sure. That's definitely an option. They've got a cultus, and that's about it. Uh, I don't particularly want this guy. He's a little expensive for a fencing sword. I don't know, maybe I do want a fencing sword build. I was actually thinking about it before this episode, but I had to record it under a time crunch, so I didn't really get to think it through. I have one slot on my roster I don't know what I'm doing with yet. Uh, anyways, let's go to Krakenwater via, via boat. They have public executions. Food and drink are abundant. And merchants are taking advantage of spectators. Bloody hell, I wanted to buy all these ambers, but apparently not. Let's see what their missions are. Escort caravan a million miles to the north. And the other one is... Deliver cargo to Kalangrub about a day to the east. You know what? We can do that. Looking at their mans because of the exit. God, there is a lot of witch hunters here. A lot of them. This isn't necessarily a bad buy there with Wolf at 1370. Ooh, Anselm the Black at 2790. Okay, he's an okay sellsword. Maybe. I don't know if he's worth 3,000 though. Very possibly. You know what? Let's check the. Um, we're at the point where we actually have enough money we can decide on what thing we want to buy. Let's check for famed javelins pretty consistently now. Unfortunately, we can't buy the amber because things are too expensive. Let's come up here to Himmelsburg, see what they have, because they're a castle, see what kind of mans they have. We have a Swordsmaster up there, a sell sword down here, and most importantly, uh, we can also take this mission to deliver up there. We can check this, go do this camp, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Whip. Give me whip. No whip. Unfortunate. Uh, any armor plating? Mm, they only have the light stuff, unfortunately. Okay. Well, on the plus note, we can buy hounds, restock our tool supply while we're here. Grab some food. What kind of hounds you guys got? So, you know what? Before I do this, I should check the mans. Just in case they have some. Ooh! Ooh, Sir Rabe, 44, ah. I want Adventurous Noble because they have the highest resolve in the game. They make a great bannerman, and we have a banner now. But 4,400 is pretty high. Here's a 5,000 gold cell sword. He's just not paying for that, even though he's level 4. Conscript for 2,000. Yeah, I don't know. None of these bands are super attractive to me. I like the cell sword the most, I think. But for the money, what I really want to do is buy armor plating. I would still really want a hedge knight more than anything, like someone else who can survive. We have Stormtail, Bone Fur, and Stormtail. Let's buy Bone Fur, and we'll buy one Stormtail. I'm gonna give me Bone Fur, and I'm gonna give Puriel Stormtail. Fantastic. And then lastly, let's end the episode by coming up here and checking out what this camp is. Actually, can we just see it from the hills, maybe? Okay, A leader, many raiders, A marksman. I believe we can do that, friends. Uh, it may not technically be that. But if we go straight there, we'll get there at nighttime. Gotta be a faster way to get there. 
No, I guess not. <laughs> uh, the game will take care of it. Perfect. Oh, beast as well. All right, when's we returning? Another camp invasion against a leader and many raiders and a marksman. I'm looking forward to it. I want to farm some more gear. I also want to buy some more mans. We got a banner now. Today was just a... It wasn't a very exciting episode. It was just a very productive episode. Hey, by the way, where is there a... Um, where's the place you can craft weapons and items and stuff? The crafting thing. Taxidermist, way up there in Grunforce. That's where we need to go if we want to craft the direwolf pelt mantle. But anyway, uh, we started with not very much. We have a lot more money now. We, we lost our man that we wanted to buy in the market. We're up to 945 on comp. I think it's 1050 is what Renowned is. So doing this will get us really close to that. Then we can open up Noble Quests and increase our reputation with these guys and eventually get some cheap weapons, maybe an upgrade to our sword. I'm excited to do this mission when we come back. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay, this guy's like, yo, I have an idea. Why don't I go assault the mans, right? Bad idea, friend. Bad idea. My boys know what's up. Boys are going to stab you with a pointy end. Meanwhile, mans, all dead. Thank you. <laughs> I love how it's like literally all dead. <laughs>